Okay, are we ready to take on Salori Uni? Yes. This might be really cool. This might be a disaster. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning, guys. It's 5.30 a.m. and um, loads of trucks just arrived with loads of people to come and see the sunrise. So, looks like it's time for us to pack up then. Packing up before the sunrise, eh? Hey? Coffee time. Morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 310 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We camped last night here at Salaru Uni in Bolivia Woo! with Bridgie and Kiva. <laughs> <laughs> it started off as a crazy, crazy, windy, stormy night, but it calmed down a lot and actually it was pretty good in the end. A little bit cold. We had a really nice night sky. It was beautiful. Yesterday we were a bit too scared to actually bring Bumblebee out onto the salt flat because it's basically one giant puddle at the moment but this morning we're going to give it a go let's hope for the best i don't have a bolivia map at the moment we still haven't found one but um after giving it a go here we are going to be heading north through the town of ororo and heading towards la paz so it's really nice and early this morning it's just seven o'clock but we have a long way to go so better hit the road let's go we're ready for takeoff hey eh? are we ready for this <laughs> oh yeah so basically, all three of us are going to try riding out there. Bridge is going to go first, Kiva's going to go second, we'll go third. Lavi's going to be flying the drone. It may be a complete mess, we might all fall over, or it might go really well. We'll find out. Okay, are we ready to take on Salori Uni? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. This might be really cool, this might be a disaster, let's do it. Okay, here we go. We're in. Oh, okay. It's maybe a little bit strange, actually. Oh! Okay, definitely really strange. Really okay. strange. Whoa, it's so much deeper than I imagined. Whoa, yeah, <laughs> we're really sinking in. Whoa! Okay. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize that we would sink in so much. Yeah, me neither. Wow. Oh. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm not... We were super close to falling off there. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god! Whew. That's very stressful! That's crazy! Whoa! Guess what guys? We just hit 18,000 miles on the road! So how was that for you guys? Scary. Scary? <laughs> I've never 
have shaken more riding a motorcycle, but I'm really glad I did it. It was really shaky, and I think if the water wasn't there, I would have lost it, but I was just so determined. I was like, I can't fall. Yeah. It just can't happen. Yeah, it was pretty touch and go, hey. It was like, all of us were like, oh my God, oh my God, what's going on? In the sun, she would be like, oh, I did not like that. And I was like, oh God, which direction do I go? <laughs> I thought it was just going to be quite hard and flat but with some water above it but then as soon as we got onto it it was like the whole bike just went sink yeah. <sighs> well and you couldn't get any momentum up because of the water you're fighting so much stuff it was crazy wow this is one of these salt trucks and I just can't believe how they can drive on the salt lake at the moment it's incredible pose for me baby oh yes Okay, salt water party over. <laughs> it's time to get these bikes washed. Let's go! Yeah, time to leave the salt flats for the second time. Maybe we will see you again. Yeah, look how much we're caring for Bumblebee. It gets two washes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, but it was so slippery and so scary. Yeah, it was way, way more difficult than I imagined. Yeah. Yeah, it was so, so close. One of the most difficult sections of riding we've ever done. Yeah, but yeah. you know for the experience it was worth it. I it really really enjoyed to do it But I wouldn't do it again <laughs> Exactly, we have to come back when the lakes are dried out exactly Levado de Otos Back at the bike wash round two. I hope they are open already. Yeah, let's see. Oh, no I'm gonna hover, make sure my baby gets clean correctly. We're gonna do a lot together. So make sure she's taken care of. Guys, you smell like flowers, what? like roses. Oh, okay. Awesome, all cleaned up. And now it's time to find some empanadas because <laughs> I'm hungry. And it's quite funny because we will head back to the salt lakes for the third time. Yeah, so there's these trucks um, that will actually drive you out onto the salt lake and over to the Dakar monument that we really wanted to see. So we're gonna have some empanadas. We're gonna ride back to the edge of the salt lake again. And then we're going to take a trip out onto the Salt Lake. So we're just stopping here at this um, market area in town. And um, it's really hard to find anything vegetarian. They have some empanadas, but they're chicken empanadas. And then here, this is llama meat. Chicharron de llama. The poor little llamas. Yeah. So I'm not sure we'll really find anything substantial to eat here, to be honest. It's hard. It's always hard. But we can get some Red Bull. Woo! So we have found ourselves a vegetarian option, a beautiful egg, tomato, and onion sandwich. Which is gracias. Cool. The best sandwich in town. That's great. I didn't think we'd find any options, so that's awesome. Oh my God, Bridget and Kiva are eating the llama. <laughs> no. I thought because of the llamas on your bike, you were like... I love llamas, but doesn't mean I can't eat them. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a mirror at the moment, hey? It's really, really flat. Bye bye, Bumblebee. Bye, Bumblebee. <laughs> See you later. Let's go on a nice trip. We're a proper tourist. Yes. Woo! So, this is the truck we're going to be taking. A much more appropriate transport to head out on the lakes, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need this kind of clearance. Oh, thank you. Oh my Whoa, God. is this just for us? Just for us. What? Okay. I'm not sure these boards are that safe. <laughs> There's a hole in that one. Bye bye, Bumblebee. We're in the water. Woo! Okay, we're just going to see our first stop here on the salt flats. They're called the Ojos de Sal, the eyes, the salt eyes. 
the water underneath the salt is breathing and it's hirviendo, like it looks like it's boiling, but it's freezing water. It's freezing. It's medicinal water that's good for like um, hurt, hurting body parts. <laughs> oh, we should put your leg in there. So it's crazy because this water is actually coming up from the lake which is underneath the entire salt flats and apparently it's up to 80 meters deep underneath us. And here's one hole where when you would jump in you would disappear. Yeah wow and you could actually go underneath the salt flats here that's yeah. crazy. Nearly got me. The salt monster! Ah! Really nice walking. All right, destination number two. So now we've come out right into the middle of the flats and we are at the Hotel del Sal, which is basically an entire hotel made of salt. All of these are salt bricks. So this place was built in 1995, but it's not actually open as a hotel anymore, but we can still go inside. Whoa, look at this! Look here, this is all salt. The whole ground. I think I'm in heaven. Salt chairs, salt <laughs> table. I love salt! Cool. Let's find the German flag! Is that uh, Germany? No! <laughs> I can't find the UK flag either. No! There's the Moroccan flag. Oh yeah. Please, any German or British person, if you come here the next time, bring a flag. These guys are brave guys. They've come all the way out here. Yeah. Are they going to be on YouTube? <laughs> Hello, family. <laughs> uh, I'm here in, in the salt flat of your uni and I'm, I've probably broken my bike. But, um, Look at we're the bike! Watch it, and hopefully, hopefully, it will work. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Look at this bike! It's oh, very salty. oh great. my You're goodness! <laughs> Hey? <laughs> and we're the ones riding around the world. <laughs> what the hell is going on there? I feel like they're at 10 skill level and we're at like one. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm at least a three. Salam <laughs> uh, So we finally made it to the Dakar Monument. It might not have been on our motorcycles, but we're here. Yes, we made it! made it what? <laughs> Happy to live? Happy to live! <laughs> so the Dakar rally was actually held here for three years from 2013 to 2016 and this monument was built to commemorate the first one in 2013 and it's made entirely out of salt and it's still here after all this time. I'm so happy that we made it at the end here and that we can see it up close, we could touch it, we could lick it. <laughs> it's really cool. All right we've had enough salt for one day. We're heading back to the truck. Oh my god, guys, look at my feet. They are so salty. Oh my god. It's our new friend. Yes, look what we bought from the market just here <laughs> at the salt flats. Mr. Lama. Mr. Lama. With his beans. That's beautiful. Look, he's carrying some beans. A new mascot. For Bumblebee, a new friend. So there we are, leaving the Uni Salt Flats, I think for the fourth time now. Yes! <laughs> Goodbye, beautiful Salt Flats! It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, that was a super cool experience, especially to camp there and spend basically nearly 24 hours there. Yes, it was nice. And now this is our last ride out with Bridget and Kiva. 
I will miss you girls! Yeah, it was a short and sweet 24 hours together, one camping night, a whole lot of salt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really, really, really nice. It's always amazing to meet up with other overlanders doing amazing journeys. Yeah, especially if the overlanders are so adventurous, like you two girls. Exactly. It's a lot of fun. And we wish you a lot of fun and a lot of nice experiences. And Bridget, we know we will meet you definitely again somewhere in Kazakhstan when our ways will cross again. Exactly, because Bridget is heading around the world as well, but in the opposite direction. So we, we've crossed paths here for the day and we will cross paths again before we finish our journey. How amazing is that? Super amazing. That's so cool. Whoa, no way. Look, there's a whole dust devil right next to us. Wow. Whoa, look at that. And he's following us. I think we're about to go into it. Oh no. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> I think we just missed it. Awesome. <laughs> bye bye, girls. Bye bye. <laughs> so that's Bridget and Kiva heading south. And this is our road heading north. <laughs> Yeah, onwards to La Paz, hey! Woo! Let's nice. go! Alright, so it's six o'clock now. We've made some progress north from a uni. I think we've done 60, 70 miles since we left. And uh, now we found a place on I Overlander, but this time it's not a wild camp. It's actually a room, I think, no? Yeah, I think it's a hostel and it's really cheap. It's apparently just 20 Bolivians, which is like two pounds fifty. So we were like, okay, that's really cheap. Let's take a room for tonight. Yeah, I mean, if there's rooms that cheap, then you can't really say no, can you? It oh. saves us having to do the tent, pack up all the camp. It means yeah. we can hit the road earlier tomorrow. And we did um, wake up this morning very, very early and we had a lot of sun. So I'm already quite tired, actually. Oh, look, the kids have just finished school. Yes. Go to the right here. Do you think just now? I don't know. I mean, it's but really late. I don't know. There's kids everywhere. On the yeah. left here? Yeah. Like the map smear is showing this place here. Because they say no signs, ask a local. Let me see the photos. Look. Yep, that's that place. It is that place, no? Yeah. Hello. Hello, kitty. You guys are nice talkies, hey? Are you a nice talkie? So she's opened the door here, um, but it looks really, really tight. Oh, oh, she's got little chicks in the bucket. Oh, he's a very nice doggy. He's a very nice doggy, isn't he? Yes, he is a very nice doggy. So what's happening? I don't know exactly. There might be another way inside. Okay, that's a shame. It's a little bit too small. I just think we can't get the bars through here, you know? Okay, so they think there's a parking for the motorcycle just over here? Okay. <laughs> just here? Okay. Okay, is that gonna fit or not? What do you think? Should we try? What about the bags? Do we have to take them off? Maybe I have to take them off actually. This ones? Yeah, okay. But I'm stuck in the door now. Oh, you're stuck. Yeah. If you just hold the bike. Yeah, I hold the bike. Okay, yeah. Let me just take these off. Okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Yes! Okay. Yes, it's time! <laughs> 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 
Gracias, muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias. Okay, so we're inside the place. Ay, and it, the room is just up here. <laughs> and this a little bit dodgy construction, I must admit. But anyway, <sighs> look at this. The stairs going up. That is steep stairs. <sighs> Oh my god, and there's like cracks in the floor here and the whole floor is sloping off to the side huh. yeah, Anyway This is the room We made it happy and alive and a little bit exhausted I'm on one side really excited about the room But on the other side a little bit disappointed as well because we don't even have a light here like it's more than basic it's like very hard. The bed is very hard. I don't think that it is even like a mattress. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't think you can expect much for six pounds. But we have to be a little bit more careful in the future because this place has no running water. The toilet, you don't even want to know. So I think we have to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, and because we couldn't park the bike here in this place, we had to park it at like a neighbor's place. But then we found out that the neighbor is leaving tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So Basically, he said, you have to come and collect the bike before 6 a.m. So it will be another early morning. <laughs> so yeah, not the most successful of room findings for tonight, but it'll have to do. We're just gonna cook up some dinner, load up our footage, go to bed for an early morning tomorrow. That's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. Ororo. You can do the Spanish R if you want, like Ororo. Ororo. I don't know if that's how they, <laughs> is that how they pronounce it. Ororo. So after giving it a go here on the Salt Lakes, we will head back up north, direction Ororo. <laughs> <laughs>